Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Build. We've got a bit of a different Let's Build for you here today. I'm going to be showing you a program called World Painter. And what it basically is, is like, an, like kind of like an MS Paint Windows style interface that lets you design Minecraft landscapes without actually being in game. It's pretty cool. And as you can see in the background here, here is something I built a little before. This is a desert island with some forest and a large kind of mountain and volcano in the middle. And there's like some, some pond here, some river. And I'm basically going to show you how I arrived at building this. Okay, so we're going to start a new world. I'm going to call it Desert Island Volcano 2. And uh, it's going to be a circular world, again, about 1,000 blocks in diameter. 256 blocks high. It's going to be flat to start with to give us a bit of a better canvas to work with. The ground level is going to be 64, water level 62. There's going to be lava instead of water? No, I don't think so. It's going to have beaches, yes. Biomes we're going to handle ourselves with custom. And uh, and yeah, we're going to have grass to the surface material. And there's nothing else to think about. Okay, so let's just create this and see what we get. All right, so here we are. We've got a large kind of circle that we're going to paint into a desert island with a volcano in it. So to start with, well, we need an ocean to put the island on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the water tool up here to make it water, turn the grass into water. And then I'm going to use one of these brushes over here to make it a bit more indented with the raised lower tool. And I'll just quickly go through these tools for you quickly. You've got pyramid tools that let you put down pyramids and raise them from the ground. Turn everything on a level to water, turn everything on a level to lava. Raise and lower. Flatten out. Smooth tool. A mountain tool. And uh, what's this again? As you hover over these buttons, it shows you what they are. Okay, change the spawn point. Sponge up water, which does that. As you can see, turns grass back into water. Let's undo that. And world options, which is like globally changing everything to grass, change everything to candy floss, whatever you want. Just cancel that. And you've got layers here. You can do things like paint down jungle, swamp, pine, deciduous forest, paint down chasms and caverns. And you can paint down different types of terrain. And what's cool about the terrain tools are you can paint down mixes. Like if you hold over here, you can paint down desert, which is sand with cactus and shrub. You can also paint down rock, which is a mix of stone and cobblestone, which is really effective at getting good looking mountains. You can also paint down nether regions, which is just like um, netherrack and lava, and pockets of lava, soul sand and glowstone. And you can put down mycelium, uh, all kinds of things, obsidian, bear grass, grass with, grass with flowers and, and um, an actual grass, long grass. So there's a whole bunch of tools that you can use to make your world look cool. And again, brushes that are similar to kind of MS Paint and, uh, and Photoshop brushes, like you have smooth circles, hard circles, noise creating tools, crack creating tools, and again, circle and squares. So there's all kinds of tools to just help you make your world. Now let's start with making a nice deep ocean. So I'm just going to use the, um, the noise tool here with the raise lower command, make my, using the mouse wheel, make my brush size bigger and just hold down right click. And as you can see, this area is just slowly getting deeper and deeper and I'm creating an, a deep ocean around a centrally higher region. Okay, so fast forwarding time, we've got ourselves a nice little ocean here with a raised bit in the middle now. It's not quite sand yet. Now at the moment, this is just basically water on top of a layer of dirt. What we can use is the sand tool here. Again, with a harder brush, we'll use a hard circular brush and we'll just make it big. And we can just hold down, holding down left click, turn all this area into sand. Now you can't see it at the moment because it's hidden behind water, but we're actually making all of the, wor all of the world sand underneath this layer of water. Okay, so now the sand is in place and complete. We'll go back to our noise tool and slowly start to build the topography of our island. Again, I'll make it smaller using the raise lower tool and just hold down left click to build up. Oh, no, we've got grass here. Oh, right. I've, I see. Now my tools are set to specific layers. So what we've done is we've set only sand above layer 74 and that's not what we want. So what we'll do is we'll unselect that. And there we go. That's turning everything into sand nicely. And we'll just make the brush bigger so that it affects the whole world. Okay, now I think we should have sandified the whole of the world. If not, well, we can fix up and touch up those final little bits of remaining grass. 
Anyway, so now let's go back to the noise tool and continue to create the topography of our island. Now I'm thinking about making a bit of like a, um, like a, a horseshoe shaped island actually, because what we can do is we can have a volcano on the edge maybe, or, well no, I'll stick with a kind of like a circular, a semi, I'll tell you what, we'll go halfway. What I'll do is I'll create a horseshoe in the middle here, just by going to the raise lower tool, right clicking and just dragging out some ocean here. Just make this a bit larger again. There we go. This is a nice lagoon, but around the edge of it, we'll have a nice little horseshoe kind of shaped island. And again, you can see just how easy it is to create these large Minecraft areas in this pretty cool paint style interface. Just stretching the sand out here. Now this also almost looks like the horde symbol from World of Warcraft. Okay. Now at the moment, everything's sand, but don't worry, we will be putting down some grass eventually. But for the time being, we're just relying on sand to keep things, uh, you know, simple. So I'm just going to change away from the noise tool, go back to a more normal kind of brush tool. And now you can see the area just coming up and being a bit more smooth and a bit less haphazard. Okay. And you see these black lines? They loosely kind of map out topography boundaries. I think this is like every five levels or so, every five or ten blocks higher, you get a black line that shows you exactly just how high you're going with your terrain. Right. So this area here has become quite high, and this is where we're going to put down our mountain. So what I'm going to do now is change to the rock and stone tool and make the area over here with the smooth brush tool into kind of rocky mountainous textured area. Okay, so here we go. Now this is looking a decent enough size. It's keeping it quite spherical. And there we go. We have the sand slowly becoming uh, rock. In fact, what we should be doing actually is replacing the sand with grass before we actually move forward. Now what we can do is we can set only blocks above a certain level to be grass. And that's what we're going to do here. But before we do that, actually, I'm going to stretch out some of these zones around the edge. Because at the moment, it's a bit of a steep kind of incline from the sand. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the smooth tool here. I'm just going to use this to drag out some of these areas. Okay, the smooth tool isn't working, but what we can do is use the, the raise and lower terrain button. Or can we? What are these tools here? Flatten an area. Okay, this works. There we go. Now we're bringing out this kind of, a bit more of a shallow kind of beach. Now, once you get away from the beach, the, uh, the terrain is going to pick up quite sh sh sharply, quite steeply. But for the beach itself, I want it to be like a bit more spread out. And a bit more shallow, a bit more of a bit more of a shallow incline. So here you can see we're doing that with the flatten tool and just making the edge of the beach a bit more nicer to hang out on, I think. A bit more areas now for you to play volleyball and all that stuff. Okay, here we go. Right, and I'm definitely a bit more happy with how this place is looking now. Right, so now it's time to start turning sand into grass. So what we're going to do is we're going to select grass quickly. Populated grass with flowers and tall grass. Now we're going to find out what level we want to be higher than. So if we see this layer here, if you look down the bottom, is height 65, 66, 67, 68. We want levels, ooh, I think we want levels, ooh, hmm. We want to paint levels 68 and higher as grass. So we're going to select the tool over here on the right to be level 68 at or above. Uh, we're going to select the hard tool here. Going to make it a big brush and this should create grass out of areas a little bit inside. Now you go, oh yeah, isn't this looking good already? You can already see where the, the water, the sand and the grass are coming together to form our own little tropical island. All right. Now we'll go back to the rock tool, make it a bit smaller on the brush and, uh, and selecting a kind of a softer tool will make a rocky area right about here, I think. This is going to be our mountain right here. And now let's just zoom in to get a closer look at where the mountain's going to go. Ah, oh, yeah. And again, we're going to be using the noise tool before we progress onto a smoother brush to finish up the rough edges. All right, so I'll just make the brush smaller. And again, just climbing up slowly, making this quite an impressive mountain. And what we're going to do is we're going to reach right to the sky ceiling with, the, with, the, with this mountain. So you can see here just coming up. Oh yeah, and you can see the edges being formed by those black lines there. Now we're getting quite high now, so I'm uh, starting to worry a bit. And I think right about now oh, is time to transfer 
to... Oh. Yeah, right now I'm going to transfer to getting a bit smaller and a bit steeper with this smooth kind of brush tool here. So let's just raise the area here. And we're going to create peak right about here. I'm just going to move it around a bit so that the peak doesn't look too man-made. And you know, because if you keep holding down the left click, you'll eventually get to a point where the top level becomes just a sharp, harsh grey. And there you can see it right there. That's when you know that you've reached the height map and you're just filling in the area with cobblestone and stone. Okay, so this is looking like a cool peak for us, but I want the mountain itself to be a bit a bit less sharp and a bit more steep. So I'm just coming around the edge also and just increasing the, uh, the curve, just making it a bit more of a shallow curve on the mountain. And there we go. Oh, it's looking pretty good, I think, so far. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely happy with that. So we have the peak right here, which is the, the heavy grey. And then we have the outside of the mountain around the edge. So what we can do now is make the brush very small. And we're going to dig back into the mountain by holding down right click and giving us just like a bit of a, a bit of a bowl inside the mountain. There we go. Now, I don't want it to be too steep a bowl because we're going to fill this with lava by using the lava tool here. And just click until we get a nice amount of lava in the middle. There we go. That's looking good. And now we'll come back to the smooth tool. And we we'll use the noise bit. We'll select raise lower and we'll make it quite small. And we're just going to mess around with the peak here and make it bring it down from the height map, bring it down from the ceiling of the of the world. And what this will let us do is have like a, a bit more of a irregular peak to the mountain. There we go. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. Now we also want like a way for the lava to drip down to uh, the side of the, uh, the side of the um, to the beach. So I'm just going to hold down right click here. And hopefully, this might not work. It might work, it might not. Who knows? But this should give us like a bit of a valley down from the mountain down to... Oh, that's a bit too unsmooth. I'll select the smooth tool here. Just make that a bit smoother. There we go. And this should give us like a bit of a, a, bit of a, a, bit of a river for the lava. Now, I'm not sure this will work because when you're doing things like this, it's often better to do it in-game because lava can react very kind of weirdly and you don't know how it's going to flow. So with a, with a map tool like this, you just don't know where it's going to go. Now I'm going to zoom out because there's only a couple more steps for us to do. Namely, one of those is I want to create a few pockets of water inside the island. So we've still got the raise lower tool. So I'm just going to hold down right click here and give us like a bit of a bit of a kind of water kind of shallow lagoon there. And I'm also going to have this snake through a bit and create a kind of river that runs almost through the island. You see this? Oh yeah, and it's going to come down here. Careful. It's going to snake through the island. And it's going to hook up with the lagoon right down here. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Now, this is looking pretty good. And, of course, at the mouth of the river, it always gets a bit bigger. There we go. Just make sure this is a proper river. Ah, oh, yeah, now, this is looking pretty good. I'm liking the look of this island already. So, all that's left to do is add some forest zones, some jungle zones, and jump right to it. Now, the grass is only at level 68 or above. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select level 70... Ooh... Level 70 or above. Create a very loose... We'll use the noise tool, I think, again. And select jungle, because I want it to be a tropical jungle island. I'm just going to lightly kind of left-click to put down... Oh, no, hang on a sec. This isn't working. Oh, right. I'll just undo that, because it's, it's reverted back to level 68. And that's not what we want. We want level 70 one or above and we'll just left click and you can see here it's loosely putting down foresty areas on the levels that are level 71 or higher now we've got to keep away from the rock because we don't want it to put too much area on the rock in fact i'll just undo a bit and use a more precise tool so that we don't get any forest on the rock at all there we go And again, we're just painting this around, getting kind of loose, kind of foresty areas for our tropical desert island. Oh, yeah. Now, this is going to be pretty badass. I can't wait to jump in game and see what this looks like. We've got like kind of a horseshoe effect with a river running through it, a large volcano in the middle with some lava in the middle. But I'm not sure how it's turned out. Volcanoes are tricky to do. So I'm going to jump in game right now and show you guys exactly what this looks like inside Minecraft. So, this is World Painter. There's a link to the, the download and the page in the video description. So, if you want to check it out, 
and give it, give it, give it a go yourself. Try your own hand at world painting and creating Minecraft maps. You're more than welcome to do so, and I thoroughly encourage it because it's really fun and it's a really powerful tool to use. So I've been Stjin, and this has been a weird Let's Build where I show you about World Painter. Hit a like and favorite and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you guys next episode when we can get back to Erebor or maybe more one-off builds. Take care.